Have you ever tried playing a sound in Scratch only to realize that you just have Meow available to you? Am I saying Meow? Don't worry, there's hope. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access and import sounds from the hundreds available in Scratch. Alright Meow, where were we? When you want to use sound in a project, the logical palette to check out is the sound palette. And if you go there and you bring in one of the sound blocks, like play sound until done, you'll notice that you don't have many options available to you. You just have meow or you can record your own sound. But if you want to see which sounds are available to you built into Scratch, you're going to want to go to the sounds tab up here. And once you click it, you'll notice that there's only meow in existence here. So what Scratch does is it keeps the project lean, it keeps the file size smaller by only bringing in sounds that you want to use. Every project has Meow built in, but you can add more by going down to the bottom and choosing a sound. So I'm going to select this button, and then you can choose from the library any sound that you want. And there are hundreds. There's different instruments, there's notes, there's voices, there's wacky things. And there are some cool effects also. Just make sure to go through it and pick a sound that you want. So let's say we want the boing sound. I can preview it by clicking play. Boing. Let's say I want to import one more sound. Let's go back to the sound library and choose, let's say, alert. So now I have three sounds available to me. Meow, boing, and alert. Let's hear what alert sounds like. And now that I've imported the sounds into my project, I now have them available in the sound blocks. Now the last thing I want to show you is that there are two blocks that will start a sound or play a sound. And that's the play sound and start sound blocks. Let's have them both play the boing. I want to show you the difference by going to the looks palette and bringing in say hello for two seconds underneath each one of these. So in the top script, what's going to happen is that it's going to play the sound until the sound is completely done and then it's going to say hello for two seconds. But watch what happens when I click the second script. In the second script, the start sound block didn't stop Scratch from continuing on to the say block. Whereas in the first script, the play sound block prevents Scratch from moving on to the say block until the sound is completely done. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're working on a project, depending on how or when you want your sound to play. There are also some other blocks in the sound palette that allow you to change the pitch or the volume of the sound. So check those out. If you learned something from this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like or thumbs up button below. And if you want to see future videos of mine show up in your subscription feed, make sure to subscribe also.